I'm Andrew Yeager, Product Manager for Motor Control Centers here at Warner Electric Supply. And today we're just going to have a brief conversation about what you might want to consider when it comes to adding on to an existing motor control center at your facility. A few things I want to make you aware of. Every MCC comes with a serial number. This information that that serial number gives us tells us everything about this as it was assembled by Rockwell. It'll tell us the depth, it'll tell us the enclosure type, it'll tell us if there are any special modifications made to that structure, it'll tell us the horizontal and vertical bus arrangements, which are all important when considering if I want to add on to the left, to the right, do I want to create a back-to-back -back MCC that I already have? That information can be found here. It's on every vertical wireway door. It's a dark and light gray tag, and that tag will have either a 10-digit numerical number, followed by a slash and an item number, or it'll have a series of alphanumeric characters. Regardless, just a simple picture tells us a lot. Likewise, every unit also has its own serial number. On older units, this can come into the form of an FO number, or on newer units, a form of a numeric serial number. Both can be found on the white tag on the bottom support pan of that unit. Other considerations you want to be made aware of is if you have an existing 15-inch deep MCC section, but you want to add on a larger drive or a section with a transformer, a lot of times those require a 20-inch deep section. You can do this, it just takes some extra considerations. Do you want those flush mounted to the front, flush mounted to the rear? Those are the type of discussions we can talk about once we have that serial number and the information it provides. Also, if you can imagine the section I'm standing in front of, Maybe it's a big 300 horsepower drive section. Well, in that case, that bus in that section is pushed back an additional five inches. So that serial number would tell us that. So when we add on to the side of that with extra MCC sections, chances are those sections might have a standard bus configuration. So having that serial number information makes sure that we can supply the correct splice kit for MCCs. Splice kits come into a straight, an offset, and a Z splice depending on the configuration you have. If you have additional questions or would like more information, please contact myself or a Warner Electric Supply representative.